Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Oh, okay. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? No, you just had to mention it. You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I don't think I press it in time. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are available for coming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. Yeah, hey, uh, could you keep your eyes on the road, bro? And I'll be forced to zap him Appreciate it. Eyes. So he stops and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama. It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious Bro. if I do say Bro. so. This other time... Jesus!
Dang, how long was how long was we out? Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need to drag myself out that window. Take to move along the car. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's get, let's grab this right here. Cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Yeah, there are them keys. Yes, sir. Bruh. Better not jump. to do with this I already know what to do with this yep dude you like a oh my God. fire at will To be honest with you, I would have kept that. All we needed was ammo. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Yo, that's wild. Oh, yeah, they heard that gunshot.
I wonder if anybody's home. Come on. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? It's too late. Bam. I'm too late. Not an intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Dude, you f you slid right in the puddle. You could have went around it, bro. Mars House. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh, man. Ugh. Wait, did we just... Wow, brother. You... Ugh, wow. Wait, how do we... No. There are three new messages. Something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be wow. back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Let me see if we search please, over here for everything. Please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message There's nothing over here. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're Lee. not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? 
Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. That is smart. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, 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 I searched this place up in the where did you come from, yo? Did you slip and hit? Oh my god. Fall back, homie. Are you kidding me? Nope, nope, nope. Thank you. Mm. Oh yeah. Hammer time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure you did. It's hammer time. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh yeah, we, we should uh, need to find help look for help. It gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Let's do it. Ready? All right, let's go. Excuse me if I move a little slow, my leg. <sighs> Got that pimp wall going now. <laughs> oh, man, I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh, snap. Hey. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's Whoa. farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Stay <laughs> as long as a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monsters come out. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There you go, Clementine. You get in there. <laughs> Oh, let's get the hell out of here. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You seems cool. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yep. Yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Appreciate it, brother. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? You asked too many questions. <laughs> Where's home? Damn, you asked me the questions. Hmm? We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is I'm sorry, so? I can't say. Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with... Wow! We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name. Because I felt like if I mentioned a police officer, he probably wouldn't help me out. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your Thanks, man. Hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, <laughs> that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Talking about shooting me. I ain't one of them. It smells like. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a swear. <gasps> I did that to be funny, y'all. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. She said, hey, I'm, like, I'm sorry, my bad. I love you, baby. Man over here having nightmares. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Doc, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Fence. Yeah, well, nah, I'm a good foreman. you can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I don't know, man. <laughs> he just seems. <laughs> oh, boy, Duck. Boy, well, let me see if we can talk to him real quick. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey, sure, don't matter to me, sure, as long as you get that more love of running. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. 
I was on the fucker in about two seconds and Christ. There you go. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See? Nice. All right, well, let's come over here real quick. Talk to them real quick. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Man. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor. I was about to say, yeah, but nah. Disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we. The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Let me talk to Clementine real you quick. having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. All right. I'll come check on y'all later. I hope Doug don't mess nothing up. I'm not saying he is, but I'm just saying, you know. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. I bet. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe, if it were far away. I mean, technically, it's true. He shot the cop. Dad so. just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. 
Lift with your back, Sean. Oh, duck. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You Facts. agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this Me little too, girl Herschel. to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Ooh! Go! I'll get my gun! Damn! Sorry, somebody getting stabbed. Duck! What the f- Are you sick? Y'all gonna make me choose, bruh. You gonna make me choose? Fuck. Fuck it. Damn, Kenny, how come you weren't here just a second ago? You could have gotten you could have gotten duck and I would have gotten Sean. How come you weren't there a second ago? Could have avoided all this. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Duck, what the f... What did you do, bro? How did Sean get like that? Duck must have done something. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Look, I know he's a kid and all, but come on, man.
Looked like the tractor was on his leg. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly, you do know. Trucks run out of like, gas. To be honest with you, just from that, Fuck. I have a feeling that Duck, he's gonna be like damsel in distress that we have to save. Ah! See already, already, bro. Good lord. Run. Okay, Lord Crop, where'd you come from? <laughs> Shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. Oh, she must are. be the hard ass. Be dangerous. Sarah Connor here. Right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? Well, no shit. That's why we're trying to survive. I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. The, the You're go, a dumb, go. careless kid. Then just go! Oh shit, no. No, I didn't mean it like They've that. Got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Hey, brother, he had to say like, yeah, I... <laughs> you have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Are you serious, bro? My dead body. Will do yeah, Kenny, man, hole. please fuck no, him up. I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find Damn. us, and they will get in here. And He's a real charmer, ain't he? Matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. I mean, damn, I wouldn't say kill him. Just beat the shit yeah. out of him. Mm -hmm. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And just because he's does, covered don't mean he's bitten, you moron. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. 
Jesus. Oh man. Okay, those punches were slow as shit. <laughs> oh shit. What did you fall on, brother? Oh my goodness. No, nah, no, nah, fam. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not today. Not today. Not today. There we go. That's right. Yeah, she got the piece. You okay? Just great, thanks. He's gonna be a problem. I can see it now. Yeah, bro, shut the hell up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Is that karma? No, it's not karma. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Right. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Ah, uh, I know it is eating her up. Like, what? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so we gotta find a way up in this thing. It's damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I see. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went. Central High Take Sting. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no. Uh, can you flip it over? Yeah, there you go.
There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Alright. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Facts. one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, we gotta keep it down, man. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him or us, huh? What? Do you know that guy? Oh! Kind of. He has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, dog. Damn, is that my brother? Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore. And died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Right, right, right on, right on, right on. You right, you right. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yep, Lee's brother. Damn. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. showed up and they tried and what happened i think they're most of who you see wandering around out there let's head back inside okay yeah let's get back inside man.
Okay, so we need to find some batteries for there, and we need to to get. And we need to get no, into. No, I'm sorry uh, to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Oh, we got a battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's another battery. Sweet. Here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. All right, cool. So we got that done. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, well, he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Now I'm trying to get these pills for you. Uh, do -do. What's that? This is my dad's cane. 
He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Nice. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Ah, uh, shit. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Sometimes we didn't fight, we just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah, I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Oh, no. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Oh, we just know where to look, too. The med kit. Come on, now. Bingo. Got you, Clementine. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Hang on. Uh, Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There we go. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Wait, can we grab this cane? I know. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street.
Find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. Hmm. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter Jesus. for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Okay, uh... You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Well, there's no line to you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Try lying to her. She'd be like, nope. <laughs> this is such and such. This might be the dumbest thing in the world. That's what I figured. Oh, I thought when I turned that on, it was going to make a bunch of noise. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Man, we could take that with us. What you mean? All right, well. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Damn! Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. I think that was the safest answer. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? <clears throat> it's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Yeah. That got a few of them to take notice. Oh, what the hell? Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Dude, what up? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. What about a distraction? I can't reach that brick.
open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's yeah. Not that I sure was. I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Hey, he's talking about a distraction. Make sure we're going all the way around. Okay. Let's head back inside. Okay. I think we can go back and get that cane now. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey there. Hi. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything... I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Okay. Hi. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay, it seems like she's coming around. That's what's up. I think we're gonna need that cane. Who grabbed the cane? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Are on that zombie out on the street. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anything in here that we can use? Give this to somebody. We can't let anything. It's not much, but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans, says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, 
appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's that? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got... Sure. <clears throat> Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. But see, that's the thing, though, too, man. Like, like I said, Kenny, bro, if you was there a few seconds before, man, we could have saved both of them. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Like, you could have got your son, and I could have gotten Sean, bro. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Thank you. Did you put the batteries in like I told you to? Let me see. Okay, the batteries in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Turn it around. What? Are you for real? Hang on. Oh, let's raise it up one more time. Hang on, maybe something wrong with the batteries. Okay, now let's flip it. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have How been exposed. Doing? The Good. station is okay. Want to go have a look around outside? Uh, my, my producer's telling let's me have we have a look around. Here. Okay. Steve. Dude, okay. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I can't reach that brick. Man, it's right there, bro. Damn. Okay, so... Did 
you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay, so my thing is we're probably going to need that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Am I missing something? Hey, Carly. <clears throat> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Sure, I kind of don't want to, but but we have to, you know, it's only right. problem I don't know if this is the right decision but we're gonna do it oh no we can't even do it then anyways Anything in the 
those guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow. Hey, man. That drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay. No, no, no. Uh... How the hell can they see us though? That's stupid. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a What am I supposed to do? There's not many options here. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. You know what's crazy? I heard him talking about her gun earlier. I'm so stupid. Maybe I need to talk to her to get her gun or something. Find you a weapon. Wanna head over to the right? Oh. Okay, so we do need to get that weapon. But how? I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Oh, yeah. Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? Dude, with what? A pillow? Okay, I'm so confused. Hey, uh that one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Okay, so I'm supposed to take him out. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Okay, Stay there right we go. Me. That was sick. Okay. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy.
awesome. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns cold windows to tissue paper. Nice. Smart. All right. Now we're talking. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so I think I know what to do now. I'm gonna go back around. We're gonna kill that one, and we're gonna kill that one over there by the RV, and then kill that one. Well, I think that one's probably already dead. I think. I, all right, let's go. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Let me raise up real quick. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now we're now we're cooking with grease. All right. Yep. You next. I'll wait for him to get close. Oh, okay. I gotcha. 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 Let's go. Oh yeah, don't think I forgot about you, player. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Oh hell yeah, dude. Gimme that. Let's go. Should help. Oh, you about to chop some heads off now. Come on. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. I hope so. Come on, bro. Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Mm. Night, night. Night, night. guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no, no, no. Please, she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in stop just stop I'm coming out Oh God! I, I said, stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said, go away. Oh. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend, Lynn. I don't want that. Wow. It's not Christian. <laughs> Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just 
Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Whoa, hold on now. Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. Yeah. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. I don't know if that was the Thank right choice. So much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Damn. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, so we got an axe. Now, excuse me, now we can, hopefully we can at least, oh, let me go check, let me check on her real quick. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, let me talk to him real quick, see what happened. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away. People do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Well, damn, Glenn. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. Yeah, man, I, I could, man. If she was bitten, it wouldn't take long for her to turn. How are we man. doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can do something. Can't reach that brick. Use the axe, bro. There we go. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. Dude. Oh, okay. We had to open the door. I'm stupid. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, now let's grab the brick. Let's go to the sound. Go towards the sound. Now's the time. Hell yeah. Excuse me. Be careful. Yeah. Keep an eye out, will you? We gotta do what we gotta do, man. This sucks. Rest in peace, brother. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Now they're like, huh? Oh. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, Lee. We don't make it through this. 
to know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should go. Oh, shit! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. No. Now you ain't getting in here. I'm trying not to. Come on. Let's go. How the hell did that happen, bro? No! Are you kidding me, Doug? you going to make me choose. <laughs> oh, great. Swell. Damn it, Doug! Oh hell no! No, come here! Get your hands off! Of mm. Run! Are you serious, bro? Oh hell no! Are you kidding me, bro? Dude, punch me. Oh, no. We got to get him back, bro. We got to get him one, bro. You're going to have to see me, bro. What the f... After I helped you get, get the pills that you needed. All right, fam. Bro, Lair's an asshole. Oh no, like I said, he gonna get one, bro. Fuck that. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do and i gotta do this i respect that you guys be safe we'll try and lee you know if this doesn't get better people Dog. are going to give up with the girl from upstairs are you just gonna let them you told carly to give her the gun yeah i did maybe you were right i don't know how to handle something like that anyway see you around see you glenn you a real one, man.
Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. Damn right. You got it. Yo, where? No, 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 no. Where Larry at, dog? You don't think I forgot about you? Oh, let me just check on her. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Why'd he get so close to the fast. window for like that, I'm not man? stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Because I figured, I just Doug, wish we both could have I mean, been, you know? could have, no. Me too, Carly. I thought he could get away. Damn. Yeah, check on the kiddos. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait to talk to you, Larry. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's a... Damn, Duck! <laughs> no, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go. Deep. Oh, he's calling me over there. I oh, bet. Man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh... Please give me the option to punch the shit out of this dude. Everett are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Bro, you just punched the shit out of me and left me for dead, hey, bro. Lee, do you have a second? My I'm pretty sure if Kenny didn't come back, I'd have been dead. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, ah. I think it's going to be okay. Maybe next episode. Okay, that was low key creepy. <laughs> I 
Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Is that a bow and arrow? There's too many of them! Ah! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore whenever you thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! What's it happening? No more, please! 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 Damn! Wow. Dude. 